Far side wall. Held in once again at the line by Sharp, who was acquired by Trade in late February for Cedar Rapids as they find the back of the net first here in this one. 19.01 to go, period number one. Finding the back of the net is Dylan Herokian. As you'll see the replay here on that far side, Herkoian just gets it low blocker past Kuzensky to take the lead early here in this one, 1-0. One Cedar Rapids leads. Getting a quick change as Polkamp now has it on the near side. A shot finds the back of the net. Don't know who found it. It looks to be Ryan Walsh with the goal for Cedar Rapids as they take a 2-1 to one lead, 11.26 to go here in period number one. You'll see the replay here. Pole camp had a pair of goals this last time here in Middleton. Not afraid to fire that puck over by the Capitals. Felicio just bubbles it ahead to Cesar. Across now a chance for Agitor. Hits the bar and the Capitals bury anyway. It's Max Nagel. Bringing the Caps back within one. In talks with interim head coach Tom Gilbert earlier this week. Effort is going to be the main thing that he's preaching to the guys this week. It's Brendan Lamb with the rebound goal. Now Walsh takes it up and down that far side wall. Near side it comes for Lurie. Lurie finds the back of the net. Just as soon as I talk about the far side being the dangerous, Charlie Lurie finds his first goal with Cedar Rapids since being traded from Omaha earlier this season. 3-1 Cedar Rapids leads. Is, here's the goal from Lurie. Top of the near side circle just beats Kuzensky. The faceoff will come back to center ice. Stick in the process. Tries to shovel it out front for Lewis. Instead, it's a shot from Felicio. Rebound sits there. Andrew Kuzma scores. It brings the Caps back within one. Finn Brink making an impact on that play. Will Felicio doing the same? You'll see it on replay here in a moment. As you see, it just goes behind the net. Rebound sits there for Kuzma to slam it home. As the Capitals. Wall is trying to force it to Weiss, fresh out of the box. Or the Rough Riders, puck sits out front. Rebound, scramble it for it. The Capitals score and even things. At three to three, it won't count as a power play goal, but the power play strikes. Oliver Flynn. You'll see the replay here, all out madness. You might call it a garbage goal. You're going into the dirty areas and slamming it home. That's what Oliver Flynn does there to give the Capitals New life, two unanswered from Madison. Down to hold their half of the ice, but Capitals trying to get it back the other way. Zachariah Wisdom scores. A turnover that he just pokes. Makes its way. Past Kuzensky. I don't know if it got all the way over. It was close for sure. Face shots one back. Montgomery with a shot. That's an absolute missile. One bounce goes the other team's way. Put it on the stick of a guy who's got an absolute missile of a shot. Finds Twine. Just beats him blocker side. As the face shot yeah, will come as back. Cedar Rapids will have another chance in the offensive zone. Herkoian towards the net. Herkoian around with the wraparound. Extends the Cedar Rapids lead to 6-3. to three. As you'll see here, has it on the back end. Acted like he was going to go around right away. Instead, keeps it tight around the cage. Herkoian, second goal of the night as it's 
Turned over at neutral. Moore will come the other way. Moore with a chance. Hits the bar. They actually say it's a goal. As Andy Moore scores. As Moore extends the lead to 7-3 to three shorthanded. As they face off against the Youngstown Phantoms, a chance back door for Weiss. He's unable to find it. Three to go in the period as Cedar Rapids will pick up the win in game one of this two game set by a score of seven to three. They extend their winning streak to six games as Madison falls to 11-35, two and one on the season. That'll do it for our coverage here on Flow Hockey. I'm Drew Steele. Thanks for listening.